I found the pieces of this elevated bed on the curb last year. Great free lumber. But now our two-year-old is communicating to us that he doesn't like his uh, baby bed so much anymore. So I bought some hardware to put this together and let's see how that goes. These two pieces fit together with dowels, but uh, this one's broken and some are missing. This one's still there. That's a 12 millimeter dowel. I'll try to downsize a half inch dowel to fit. Twelve millimeters. These four dowels used to not be glued in to leave flexibility as to which side you want to put the ladder on, but I'm going to glue them in at least on one side to give more stability. The nice thing about this bed frame is it's got these barrel nuts that have got two holes in them and these ones can't fall out here which is why they're still here but they're metric so I had to go for metric bolts to put this thing together. I'm having the hardest time getting these barrel nuts to line up properly in the holes which are a little bit oversized so when I put that in there and I put the screw against it most of the time it just ends up going in there at an angle and I can't get the screw in. So I made myself this little insertion tool like this and because the hole is oversized I can easily get that in there and then it's lined up properly for the screw. Right now I'm only doing one screw, but when I do the final assembly and I need to put the top screw in, I need to pass that barrel nut all the way up to here, so uh, that'll be very useful. This used to have one of those double barrel nuts in there, but uh, that one's gone missing because it could fall out. Now my 100 millimeter screws have to reach uh, this barrel nut here, but uh, they're a little bit too long for that, so I have to cut them off. These two oddly placed wood screws that came with it suggest that uh, these fasteners were missing already the last time the bed was assembled, but I bought a proper fastener for this. Oh yeah, <laughs> these are deck screws, different lengths too. This is looking good, and since it's already elevated, I have the idea of actually putting this over another bed, but not like a bunk bed, instead like this at an angle. Now the bed that's already in the room is already this high, which would be enough room for the feet because the head would be sticking out this way, but I think I should give that a little bit more height. So I just propped it up temporarily to get a sense of what this is like, and I think it's still reasonable for getting at it to change the sheets. But first I have to consult with the five-year-old to see what he thinks about it. So I'm thinking I could put this bed over the other bed in Kurt's room and then somebody can sleep on top and somebody sleeps on the bottom. But I want to sleep on top! You want to sleep on top. Okay, yes, I think that's better. So now I have to extend these legs and the ladder. My plan is to cut two mortises to the bottom of the legs like this.
I made that extension a bit oversized because I wasn't sure if it was centered properly and that way I can just plane it to be centered. I added some braces on this end to stiffen it up a bit. On the other side I couldn't because of the bed. I ended up just standing on the lower bed to put the sheets on the upper one, so that's fairly easy. And even though there's a little space down here, you can still comfortably sit up in the lower bed. <laughs> 